Beam down smoke. The Katowice 2014 stickers are some of the best looking stickers in the entire game and they look great on a wide variety of guns, but many of you may not have seen these very interesting and specific crafts that are also quite unique, so I thought because the coronavirus is kind of taking a toll on everybody's mental, it might be time to take a little quick break from thinking about all of that and just kind of enjoy some nice chilled out video content, especially with all the investing talk that I've been doing recently. Also apologies if I sound a little weird during this video, I am still a little bit sick with a cold and I'm going to hope that I get better in the next couple days or so. Also before we begin, be sure to check out my skin bay link in the description below, it supports the channel quite a lot, and be sure to go ahead and at me on Twitter if you bought anything and want my opinion on it. And with that out of the way guys, let's get started with this video. So the first one on this list is actually maybe not that unique, mostly because there have been a lot of people in the past that have crafted this, but it's going to be the AK-47 Pink Panther. This one is going to be the AK-47 Jaguar with a Ibit Power Hollow on the Jaguar's head itself, so the worst position technically in most AKs. But fun fact, if you have the Ibit Power Hollow in this position, it's actually considered the best position for this specific AK just because of the Pink Panther name. At the time of making this video, it appears that a Pink Panther Stat Track Factory New is going to run you about $3,000 cash, which is a pretty high price. It kind of does range a little bit, of course, but that looks like the current lowest price on the trade market. If you want a pretty cheap substitute for this, you can actually use a Flash Gaming sticker and you can go ahead and put it on the same location on your AK-47 Jaguar for the exact same feel at only a fraction of the cost. There also exists another variant, sort of cheaper version of this skin, which is going to be the Alien Panther AK-47 Jaguar. So this one's pretty cool as well, and maybe it's for you if you don't like the traditional Pink Panther. The next one on this list is going to be the Op Room. So this one is actually very unique, and I like this one quite a lot. So it's based off of the Op Boom, and the Op Boom has a lot of different patterns you can get with it, but one of the main patterns is one where it has a centered boom, which means that the boom logo or the boom decal is actually centered in the middle of the gun itself. And if you actually apply a Reason Gaming Cut of VT 2014 Hollow, or I guess non hollow to that area, you can actually get one that says Room instead of Boom, which I think is pretty funny. I saw it on Twitter recently, so shout out to Grizzly for posting that on Twitter and, and, and kind of making this a clear cut of craft to me. I do really like this one, and this might actually be something that I pick up in the future just because of how unique and cool I think it is. So yeah, this is really a good option for those people out there. Looks like an op room is going to cost you a pretty penny though, at about, well, that's actually kind of the thing. No one really knows what these go for exactly, just because they're pretty rare, very unique, and they're just very odd in general. I would say just to go with regular sticker percentages, which means that this would probably go for around three to 5% sticker price. That may be a little bit on the higher end, but of course I do want to kind of eyeball something like this just because of how rare the actual pattern and sticker being in the exact place probably is. So a little bit more of a rare one especially with the Reason Hollow being such a rare sticker, so that's kind of what I would estimate it at, but it's probably quite a bit higher than that actually. So yeah, definitely a very weird one, but I guess if I figure out a good price point for it, then I can definitely let you guys know with a pinned comment. So for the next part of this video, I actually want to feature some of Sticker Wasters Crafts, or Zeus as he usually goes by. This guy is a very interesting member of the community, definitely a very cool guy and nice to talk to. He does support the channel, so yeah, shout out to him. And he makes a lot of very interesting and also buys a lot of very interesting Kato crafts and other sticker crafts. Make sure to go follow him on Twitter, not like sponsored by him or anything like that. I just wanted to shout him out because he's a pretty cool guy and he does a pretty cool, unique thing in the community. So yeah, let's go ahead and look at some of his interesting crafts and guns that he's picked up over the years. So this first craft here is actually going to be a MAC-10 Urban DD pad that Sticker Waster I actually believe picked up. I don't think he crafted it himself, but it's a very interesting one. So it actually has an I by Power sticker on the worst position. And the interesting thing about the MAC-10 is that when you put a sticker on the worst position, which is a little bit above the mag, when you are holding it in game, you actually can't see it, not even if you inspect it. It's probably the most invisible sticker that you can apply to a weapon. So to have an eye by power sticker here is just the ultimate meme. And I really think this skin is super unique and cool. I had the privilege of checking it out in game and it is really, really cool. Just to kind of have something that is such an overall overarching epitome of memes as this skin is. So yeah, definitely a very interesting one. And that actually isn't the only Cato 14 sticker on the skin. There's also an NIP Cato 14 sticker on it as well, which is pretty cool. And just kind of adds to the overall meme. This next one is, well, yeah, just kind of look at it. This is a pretty crazy one, and that's a lot of money worth of stickers right there, so pretty interesting why someone thought that this was going to be a good idea at some point in time. So guys, coming to the last one here, also from a sticker waster, is actually going to be probably one of the epitomes of sticker wasting, and that's a stat track sawed-off sander with three Hellraisers non-hollows and a Clan Mystic non-hollow. 
So I wanted you to guys to keep in mind that the sawed-off Xander actually came from one of the more recent cases, the Spectrum case. So these were still pretty expensive stickers at the time that this was probably made. And yeah, just a super, super expensive craft for sure. And also very, very unique because I don't think you're ever going to see anything like this again in the future. So yeah, that's kind of the thing with Sticker Waster. He's just kind of a very interesting out there guy, but it's a very lovable personality for sure. The dude is very interesting, and definitely go check out his Twitter if you want to keep up to date with all of his weird sticker shenanigans. And also keep in mind that the prices on his skins are pretty hard to figure out just because they're so unique. A lot of them are one of ones, and uh, that's kind of why he doesn't want to sell them ever, just because they're so rare and unique. But with that being said, guys, I really do hope that you enjoyed this video. A little bit of a shorter one, just kind of a fun one to go over some of these interesting sticker combinations and kind of give a spotlight to one of the really interesting members of the community, Sticker Waster himself. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it, hopefully it was interesting, and hopefully you learned about some new Kaido crafts that you might want to check out in the future. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video again. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more content like this in the future, and more investing content of course, and make sure that you're up to date on all my investing content. And of course, be sure to check out my Discord server and my Twitter, whose links are in the description below. Be sure to use my skin bait referral link, that does help out the channel quite a lot. And also be sure to like the video if you enjoyed. And with that, out of the way, again, Thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day to watch me. See y'all next time. Peace.